Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome back to the garden. It's January and I haven't done a garden tour for a little while. Uh, I've been lucky enough to be able to travel, to go back to Australia, to visit my family. We've had the festive season so I've been a bit occupied. Um, but I wanted to show you around the garden and also do a harvest while we're having a look around. So, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Starting here with this basil that's gone to flower. The bees absolutely love this. Um, I don't know if you can see any of them, but they're flying around. The bees are loving it, so I'm just leaving it even though we're not harvesting off this anymore because um, it just attracts those pollinators to the garden. Also got this chili plant here, and this has actually got quite a lot of chilies on. And they're all over this plant, and this is probably far more too much chili than um, we eat. We don't eat a lot of chili, um, not sort of big hot food eaters, but this is going really well. And then in this pot here, I'm really excited because we've had some lavender germinate so just tiny little seeds just starting to get their first tree leaves um, but i'm hoping that this lavender will attract the pollinators as well and in this corner we have our papaya no fruit yet um, i thought this was gonna um, die over christmas over some sorry over summer um, i didn't think it was gonna do so well um, but it's come back so hopefully we'll eventually get some fruit on that and then we come across to the cucumbers and the cucumbers are thriving this year I've got them climbing up the string up the wall here and we're going to harvest some cucumbers today because they tend to if you're not careful hide and I found a big one in here the other day so we're going to harvest that and there's another big one there. You can see there's lots of new ones coming on too. More cucumbers all over this vine. Uh, but we're going to harvest two cucumbers. So generally I'm not a big cucumber eater, but um, whenever something comes out of the garden, I'm always really excited to eat it. Okay, so that one's really quite big. I'll pop that in my harvest basket. Put another one here as well that I want to get. Here we have the second one that we're going to get today. So we've got plenty of cucumber to eat over the next couple of days, and we've got lots more coming on in the next week or so. And in the rest of this bed all along the wall, we've got the pomegranate. It's flowered a bit, but they've all fallen off. It's its first year, so I wasn't really expecting any fruit on that one. We've also got this basil here. We've been harvesting off this so much, um, we just can't eat enough basil. And we've also got this coriander here. I just love the smell of coriander. I actually made some guacamole and used some of that today. Now we're going to take a look at this L-shaped bed. And we had some radish in this section here at the front. We've harvested all of those and I've planted some lettuce seeds for the cooler months so they're just starting to germinate. So we'll have some lettuce from here soon. Got a few little babies popping up. So good for the cooler months having some lettuce. And then go straight on to this beauty. This is the first time I've grown this one this year. It is impossible to pronounce so I will show you the label. Chichi Misai, I think. Um, but yeah, love this one. It's got a great flavor. I'm really enjoying it. And we definitely need to harvest some of this. So what I usually do is I take the outer leaves around the edge like this and harvest these. And I'm really enjoying the flavor of this. Um, but I'm not going to harvest too much of this today because we've already got dinner sorted for tonight. So we'll harvest some more of that tomorrow. Just pop that one into a harvest basket. And then we have this here, Pat Choi. These seeds of this one is from my farm Dubai and I'm really happy with how this is going. These leaves are absolutely massive. I'm thinking maybe I could do some like um, cabbage rolls and roll up some minced meat and herbs and things um, in some of these big leaves. Got a chamomile here. It's my first year growing chamomile. I've got some more in a pot on the other side of the garden, which is a bit bigger. 
some more radish basil and then we come through here we've got our tomato plants this one here is um, Dr. White cheese and we have large barred boar this is like a red and green striped one they're not ripe yet and then we also have pink ox heart so I need to retress these um, they're definitely growing over you can see that lovely ox heart shape there so got those some carrots along the front we've got some more little baby carrots germinating so they should come along soon some more pat choy and we've got some um, we've got jalapeno peppers so they're just starting to put on some fruit now um, so some jalapenos we've got some bok choy this is a bit of a smaller sort of more traditional variety then we've got our golden beets. This is our first time growing these golden beets and I've definitely sown them way too thick. Um, but I'm going to harvest one of these to try and free up a bit of the space in here. And also I'm just a bit anxious to try the flavour. I'm really keen to give these a go. So I'm just going to try and pull one of these out without disturbing the rest of the soil too much. And hopefully giving them a bit more room so that the rest of them can have more nutrients, have more sunlight, and grow. Very cool. <laughs> this is my first um, beetroot, it's a golden beet. Um, it's not particularly big, uh, but hopefully the rest of them will start to grow a bit more. I've definitely sown them too thick. And you can actually eat the um, beetroot leaves as well, so you can make these into a salad. And then, on this end here we just have some parsley and one final radish in there. So that is the L-shaped garden.